criminals we are breeding are going to kill us one by one and you keep raising ourselves that we are irreplaceable. We have left you with your police. Let the good one as well. Kampala, Uganda, September 8th, 2018. Afande Mohamed Kirumira was gunned down. Many people asked, who killed him? Ni nani alimuwa Afande Kirumira? That's the question many people asked. He was killed at he was killed at around 9 p.m. in the night when he was returning to his place with some of his friends in the car. Ten bullets were shot in his car, and people asked, "Who killed Afande Mohamed Kirumira?" He seemed, and he was a Muslim. He was a patriot who loved to see a better police force in Uganda. He called himself a police officer, but also a human rights activist. In one of his sayings he wrote, in one, in one of his interviews he said, like a messiah, killing me will be useless because I've already sent the message to the society. Did he know that he was going to die? Most probably. He said also, expo, ex, expose the mafia to save the state. When you speak, you die. When you keep quiet, you die. Better speak and die when the message has reached the people. So, Mohamed Kirumira knew he was going to die. He knew what he was doing. He wanted to see a better police force in Uganda. Because he knew the Uganda police was infiltrated by the mafia, by the thugs, by, the, by, by dangerous elements. And he wanted to see a better police force. So, are those mafias, the bad thugs in the Ugandan police, did they end his life? Because they say, Mohamed Kromira always approached those thugs he knew, the bad elements in the Ugandan police, and he told them straight, confronted them and told them, you bad apples, you need to get out of the Ugandan police force. So, who took his life? Ask yourself that question. Are those mafias responsible because he wanted to see a better police force in Uganda? And if you see a lot of his interviews, Mohamed Kirumira knew his time was going to come because he was against these mafias. He already knew he was going to pass on any time. But who are those mafias in the Ugandan police? Are those the ones that ended his life or somebody else? Many, many investigators, private investigators, they don't want to speak out, but they will tell you if the elements in the police force that ended his life because he was loved by many people if not the if not the elements in the police force who ended his life he always said he wanted to run for political office and maybe some politicians took his life because they knew he was going to win he was loved by the masses did that take his life you know did the bad elements in the ugandan police force take shiromira's life or the political thugs that feared him because he said he was going to run for political office in his county where he's from. Did they fear him? Did they fear he's going to expose something? Because, did they fear because he was loved? He once said, Felix Kawesi is my mentor. If you know Felix Kawesi, Felix Kawesi was also gunned down. He was killed. So, was it because Felix Kawesi was his mentor and Felix, Felix Kawesi was also shot? was killed what is the math behind this that's the solution i'm gonna take you to Mohamed kromira was killed by bad elements but where are those bad elements at in the police in the in in, in the police in political sphere or just some rebels because he was a man who stood for his values and he exposed the police bad acts Police, Ugandan police deals with thugs in the city of Kampala. Many police thugs actually are the ones that support people that steal. They are like a mafia. He, was, he exposed that because some people in the police force deal with people who sell drugs. Thugs, thieves, robberies. Some police people in the poli within the police force are the very people carrying out these acts. So exposing them, is that the reason his life was taken out? Let's not forget, Ugandan police, there are many amazing police officers. But there is that, that bad apple within the police. 
that clique of mafias within the police, that rebels within the police. Did they end his life? All the politicians, they feared. If Chirumira was to leave police and stand for political office and he wins, it's going to send a message to other police officers and army police officers to rebel and run for poli poli political office. Oh, well, that's the reason that he was killed. Him standing for police office as an opposition former police officer, was it a threat to the political allies in Uganda? Did they fear him for that? That's a question you need to, you need to ask. Was that a threat to the political allies? They are wondering if a police officer leaves the force, joins politics and wins, was he going to send a message to other police and army officers in Uganda? That's another question that you can ask. Because many people ask, Ni nani alimuwa afande Muhammad Shirumira, afande Mozalendo, who killed afande Muhammad Shirumira, a patriotic police officer? Who wanted a better Uganda? Who wanted a better police force that was going to treat Ugandans in a good, Ugandans in a good way? A police force that was not going to engage in criminal acts. I'm not saying all police, but there's that element in the Ugandan police that engages in, in bad acts. You understand? So, is that the reason they ended his life? That's the thing I'm researching on. Soon I'm going to make a documentary about the life of Mohamed Kilomera, why his life was taken out, and who is most probably the person whose life was taken out. Because I'm tired of these cases coming into light, and after they disappear without we, the citizens of East Africa, knowing the cause why these people are being shot. We shouldn't leave Mohamed Chirumira just rest in peace without justice being, being, being served. Justice needs to needs needs to be served for Kirumira. Thank you, guys. Kirumira accuses some senior police officers of witch hunting him because.